Well, I tell you, lots have been going on around here at the studios. And as far as everything else is concerned, we here at the Truthful Radio Show, that's right, friends, we give you the truth 100% of the time. We don't sugarcoat anything, and we sure as hell don't hold anything back. We have a lot to discuss before our first set of music. And so I'm going to take a brief 20 minutes to try to sum it all up for you and also to, to let you know, don't forget, to tune in to the Team Pauses radio podcast episode number two this Sunday night. Mark it on your calendars. It's a 7 to 9 p.m. show. It's a two-hour show. The topic's going to be libel. It's going to be a big one, and it's going to expose a lot of bogus articles that people have written in their blogs to try to get uh, people um, shut down, humiliated, uh, we're going to show you how it's used in articles, show you that people have won very big lawsuits against people who wrote lies and uh, false um, articles on that particular, whatever the subject may be. So we're going to do a t- touch base on that, and then we're going to show you how it is being done against us as far as a group of people, our crew. By that crew, I mean those people who uh, affiliate themselves with me, who are my best of friends, those who listen to this show on a constant basis, those who tune into the Queens New Yorker on YouTube, those who look used to be with Panda, Panda's Book Picks, now are actually turning into this particular show. Anything that's associated with me, friends, you are my crew, and I thank you for your continued support. Remember also, too, to go to the Patreon account. Support that. Show your financial support to the Patreon account, to the Queens New Yorker, and you will have a vested interest, a truthful vested interest, 100% in everything that I do and to help further the cause of our great shows that we put out for you day in and day out. Now, just a couple of days ago, or just yesterday, actually, our cyberstalker decides to go on for his 11th show that he's basically deemed ebaycriticradio.com. I want to give my I want to give my two cents worth about this particular show, and I want you to pay close attention to what I'm going to say because I, I guarantee you, friends, take some notes down. Your jaw is literally going to drop. Okay, this individual eBay critic uh, who hosts eBay critic radio podcast is named Charles W. Fitch. Now you probably know him. He is our cyber stalker. That's exactly who this scumbag is. He's been stalking and harassing and bullying and defaming a whole bunch of people. His main target, Joseph J. DeMarco of Oradell, New Jersey. Uh, Mr. DeMarco owns a hubcap business up there. Very successful, mind you. Been in the business over 30 years with his brick-and-mortar store. All right? And he also sells on eBay as well. So, the whole thing of this eBay critic radio podcast is to do nothing but bash eBay and PayPal for being a fraudulent company. Okay? You have to go back and realize that the history of what Charles Fitch is doing is that he got kicked off of eBay and PayPal for running stealth accounts. Now, he's not going to admit to that. He's never going to man up to the fact that he used stealth accounts to get back on and try to fraud and scam everybody. He's never go- you, he'll, you can walk up to this guy. He's going to tell you some different story. He's going to make a liar right out of you, and he's going to point a finger right on your freaking nose and say, Look, I don't do this. I never do this. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like Peter denying Jesus the, the three times. When that man was going on the cross, that is exactly what Charles W. Fitch is. He is like the, 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 the traitor disciple who finally realizes, oh, my God, what did I do? So Mr. Fitch decides to try to become a whistleblower, tries to blow the lid off of this corrupt, corrupt company. Now, friends, my standard as far as where eBay and PayPal is, I know a lot of you out there actually have some really good uh, – 
buying and selling. You've had no problems with it. The people I've talked to said they love eBay. They love uh, PayPal. You know, and I'm not promoting either a eBay or PayPal or Amazon. I don't promote any of that stuff. They are not sponsors of my show. I wouldn't even agree to them to have to be sponsors on my show. Okay? That's how much I despise them as a company because right now they've got a cyber stalker on their ass and they, he's saying some pretty bad things about this company and they're not doing a damn thing about it because they want to keep low-key profile. So I say boo-hoo to you eBay. Boo-hoo to you PayPal for not manning up and Suing this son of a bitch for talking smack about you, okay? Unless, of course, to the point where he threatens you with a lawsuit, then what are you going to do, okay? You need to start fighting back and getting on the ball, sending your representatives, making videos saying, hey, look, Mr. Fitch, if you want to continue to do this kind of criticizing, you're going to be asking for a lot of trouble later on down the line, as if he's not in enough trouble as it is, Okay? Let me tell you something. The eBay Critic Radio Show does nothing but freaking lie, friends. 75 to, to 100% of his show is nothing but baseless facts that he's pulled out from the air. Okay? The libellous articles that he's written, that Ed, Mr. Ed Coon's written, that Keith Detweiler has made on his videos. 90% of that content, friends, is all truthful stuff that we have scumped right back to their faces, and they've twisted it around to make us look like the bad guys. Now, here's another fact. Mr. Fitch says, well, Jason Kenny will come on my show and tell me why I'm a liar and a cyber stalker. <laughs> then maybe I'll probably reconsider the fact. Let me tell you something. I could tell you right to your face in person, you scumbag. But here's the thing. You wouldn't believe me if I had 40 people of my support, friends, telling you to your face. If it was 40 against one, you would still find a way to weave your way out of it, you worm. You see, you're, you're like a worm. You're, you're like the worm who just pretty much slithers out of there, and nobody really cares because nobody wants to, to man up to you. And that's why you think you have a, a say in everybody's lives. Well, friend... I don't think so. I think you're a liar because you don't know all the facts, okay? I think you're a cyber stalker because, let's see, you subscribe to my YouTube channels. You subscribe to my Ustream uh, podcast. You subscribe to Chris Kennedy's channels, Jason Kelly's channels, Stephanie Breon's channels. Every channel that I have on YouTube, you in some way, shape, or form use your fake channels to subscribe to those channels to see where I'm going to be next. You don't call that stalking? I don't know what else to tell you. All right? So let me say this much. Friends, you want an honest radio show like me? You keep listening and you keep supporting and you know where it is. Put your money where your mouth is because I guarantee you it's always going to help you. And that's what we aim to do. We aim to help you just like Mr. DeMarco helps those who want to sell on eBay and become very successful. And that's why I'm doing the Team Pause radio show because Mr. Fitch has pulled his pants down too far. And that's why my mission now is to make sure that he starts telling the truth. If he don't want to start manning up to the facts, I'll start boking him and poking him. I'm not going away, Mr. Fitch. You stalked me for two years too long, and you think, well, I'm just going to stop and lay low. No, man. You don't want to fight me, you coward, you bully, you wannabe stalker. I can fight you, and I can fight you without having to fight you physically, man. It's called mental breakdown. It's something that you don't know anything about, man. You don't want to face the truth when it comes right down to it. Okay? So who's the liar now, buddy? Because as sure as heck, I'm telling you right now to your ass and face. You, Mr. Detweiler, Mr. Coon, have a lot of explaining to do to a lot of people. And I listened to your 45-minute waste of time last night. I think you paid off about two of the idiots on your show. Okay? Yeah, the insane clown posse. Really. That's right. You're all insane. You're all brainless. You're all brainwashed. Okay? And you got nothing better to do but to attack Scott Henshaw. Okay, let me tell you something. If we go on your biased show, your one-sided show, Mr. Fitch, we lose our credibility to go to the courts. Okay? Because then the courts will say, well, you had contact with him. Case dismissed. 
Okay, now I know why you don't want to come on 30JK and, and debate me. Because then it's contact. Because then you'll have no court case to nothing left to stand on. Like you don't have anything to stand on right now. I know. You, you may be a little bit weird, but you're not stupid. I'll give you that much. So, you think I'm going to come on your show and bow down to you? You got another thing coming, buddy. I wouldn't waste my time on a baseless show like yours. I give it 30 dumbs down. Your show is nothing but a lying piece of crap. And you heard it right here on the Jason DeCanio Show, which has been on for the last six years to give you the credible information that you solely deserve. And you have the right to it. So, again, friends, you know, he also says, well, I, got, I had 612 viewers view my show. Yeah, 612 people. You reached out to 612 people within that little amount of, amount of time on, the, t on the, the date in question, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Do you realize, Mr. Fitch, that at 5 o'clock in the I in Eastern time, most people are getting out of work and have no business listening to your show? And where are your so-called people who got kicked off of eBay? Why are they not coming forward to tell their story? You keep begging and pleading them f to come. And the only people you have had on your show is Mr. Detweiler and Mr. Coon, two idiots who basically side with you. That's pretty much it. Okay, sure, you had Mr. Johnson. Big deal. But he gave it right back to you. And as far as Ms. Scott Henshaw is concerned, he ain't going to do an interview with you. You think he's going to stoop down to your level, buddy? You got another thing coming. As far as it, man, if you get attacked by Scott Henshaw, you better be putting your fighting gloves on because he's got power. Okay? The one thing Mr. Fitz does not realize is, is there are more powerful people out there, more powerful than me with my voice. Okay? That could do real damage. Real damage, friends. This is what this bozo clown does not understand. There are people out there who can literally wipe the floor with him. Okay? So if he wants to go after little old me and think he can push me around like a rag doll, buddy, you got another thing coming because I'm fighting you full, full blast, man. Full freaking blast. Okay? I've got the videos. I've got the comments. I've got everything that proves you are a cyber stalker. And all I have to do is go to any court, any judge, any lawyer, show them the evidence, and make you look like a fool right in front of everybody. If that's what you want, Mr. Fitz, then you got it, okay? I manned up to your challenges. I've answered your allegations and accusations. How come you haven't answered mine? Are you a coward to not come up with some credible information about me? Or are you just going to continue to write bogus crap to make yourself look like an idiot every time? Because nobody believes you. Yeah, you say your reputation was smeared. You want to be smeared, I'll smear you for the truth, okay? That's it. The Kwame Kilpatrick incident that you did over 15 years ago. All the scams, all the frauds. We can go even farther back before you even started attacking DeMarco. You want, you want that to be brought up? You're asking for it. You are literally asking for it. And if I was you, Mr. Fitch, I would lay low right now until it was time to go to court. And we all know your track record in court. Oh, and six, buddy. Oh, and six. You have not won a court case since. And you expect to go back to the courts, keep appealing, keep wasting the taxpayers' money. Yeah, just to, just to prove a point. Friends, this guy has no business being in a courtroom unless he wants his ass handed to him on a silver platter and as far as I'm concerned I'll give him that but he has to come down here to Florida to do it and we know his little chicken coward ass ain't gonna do it okay so I got him right where I want him the only way that Mr. Fitch and I are ever gonna debate is on the 30 JK show with Jason Kelly because here's the thing Jason Kelly may be my friend but when it comes to his show he is neither side okay he is neither side that means he is unbiased he won't favor me and he won't favor mr fitch he'll let us duke it out and there you go it's on a it's it's on an unbiased radio show and i guarantee you 30 minutes is all i need to scour this guy's butt really not physically 
Okay? Mr. Fitz fears the fact that he might get killed. Look, buddy, I'm not going to waste my time going to jail for your sorry ass. Okay? You want to put Joseph out of out of off of eBay? That's your life mission. Well, you got a lot of hell of a nerve. Since my life mission right now is to make you go to jail, and I am not going to stop, Mister Fitch, until you decide when you've had a freaking enough. That's it. Real plain and simple, friends. And that's why I encourage you to listen to the Team Pause Radio Show because it's not all just about Mister Fitch. Okay, no, there are plenty of other people out there that write a bunch of shit out there in the world, and we aim to expose it. Okay, but I think Mr. Fitch has given me the inspiration to come out there and finally say enough is enough. We are tired of all the cyber stalkers, the bullies, the harassers, the people who think that they can try to point a finger and run our lives. Let me tell you something, buddy. You don't owe me. I'm not one of your toys. Okay. <clears throat> And I sure as hell don't have Mr. DeMarco tell me what to say either, even though I consult with the man. Okay? <clears throat> and another thing. We're not gay. <clears throat> we never were. We're good friends. You need to stop thinking that, but you won't. <clears throat> friends, I don't sell... <coughs> excuse me. I don't sell on eBay or PayPal either, okay? Why would I want to sell on a corrupt website like that? Tell me. That has no security whatsoever. That's like putting your stuff on Craigslist, Craigslist and hoping and praying to find somebody that will scam and fraud you. Let me tell you, friends, you want to listen to somebody who will make you money, who will give you the best deals ever, go to ClarkHoward.com. That's your man to listen to when it comes to consumer advocacy. And we're going to talk about some of the things that will help you improve your time, your money, and make a profit for you every which way, shape, or form. Your WJDC studio time is 7.32. We've got Spotify requests coming up in just a little bit. But I want to tell you what I mentioned at the top of the show about uh, what is going on with eBay Critic Radio Podcast, friends. Uh, you know, it, it gets to a point in life where you, you want to listen out to uh, and get some helpful hints about some great things and shows and everything. Now, I don't sponsor the people I talk about. But I surely want to talk about one person who's been out there doing a terrific job for the past eight years, and that's Joseph J. DeMarco of Oradell, New Jersey. He is a great hubcap seller, eBay consumer advocate, and informant, but he doesn't work for eBay. He just talks about it, and he gives you all of the helpful hints. He's really done his homework a lot, friends, and that's what makes a good consumer advocate is somebody who does their homework, does their research, and really shows you what's going on in there. And Mr. DeMarco exceeds all of that. Now, unfortunately, the cyberstalker Charles W. Fitch has other opinions about Mr. DeMarco, some very hateful ones, and I think, you know, sure. But here's the thing, friends. Who would you rather trust? Who would you rather trust? Would you rather trust somebody who comes on week after week on YouTube talking about eBay topics that in a, in a calm, relaxed voice, knows what he's talking about, doesn't point fingers, doesn't wear a mask, and actually shows you with tutorials how to do things and how to be successful? Or would you rather take it from somebody who constantly whines Bitches, complains, moans, groans, wears a mask, has no business whatsoever, has been kicked off of eBay numerous times, uses stealth accounts, and continues to bully and harass people because they don't agree with him. Now, that's a choice you would have to make. So who would you want to get advice from if you were a top-rated seller on eBay or PayPal? Or for that matter, if you were just trying to make just a little bit of money, who would you rather choose to get the helpful hint advice from? I know if I was selling on the site, I would definitely take Mr. DeMarco's word over Mr. Fitch's anytime. Why would I want to listen to somebody who wears a mask, has to hide his identity, is not truthful, we know that. He may have some things to, 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 to give us advice-wise, but still... What's the true cause of his, you know, his advocacy? Is he merely there just to smear eBay and PayPal? 
He says, yes, and I'm not going to rest until I get Mr. DeMarco thrown off of eBay and PayPal. That's what he said. He said his life mission, until they put him six feet under the ground, is to make sure that Mr. DeMarco does not have any chance of ever selling on eBay or PayPal ever again. And my advice to Mr. DeMarco is, are you going to take that? Are you going to let a scumbag like that punk tell you how to dictate your life? If I was you, man, I would go out there and literally give him a taste of his own freaking medicine. And I know there are people out there who would do that. I know it. And I know he's fighting hard, very hard. And unfortunately, what Mr. Fitch doesn't know is, is that he's getting attacked not just by me and Mr. DeMarco. He's getting attacked by everybody. And unfortunately, he just wants to go over, get us out of the way because he thinks he'll have these little victories. No. No siree, friend. And again, I tell you, I do not sell on eBay or PayPal. My opinion of it, and Mr. DeMarco knows about this, my opinion of eBay and PayPal is, is they're not safe or secure at this point in the game. So why should I go on a site that's not getting this scumbag, Mr. Fitch, put away for life? Going after him with a lawsuit. Hitting him right where it hurts. Okay, that's the one question if I had an eBay PayPal executive on the phone interviewing him, I would hit him with questions like, why are you not going after this stalker? Why are you not going after this guy who talks smack about your company? Okay, look, eBay and PayPal is a very respectable company. So is Amazon. Okay, now Mr. Fitch also says, I don't like eBay. I would rather you go to Amazon. I'm forcing you to go to Amazon because I affiliate with them. And I say, hey, man, this is a free country. Wherever people want to go and do business with, that's their decision. You choose to go to Amazon, so be it. Hey, man, I don't, like I said, I don't advertise for neither one. I'm neutral as far as the, 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 the businesses are concerned. My concern is the cyber stalking, bullying, harassment, defamation, and any other things that Mr. Fitch does outside of eBay or PayPal that he's done to me over the two years. That's where my mission is to make sure that that scumbag doesn't get any chance to say any more derogatory crap about me. Okay? Because I will fight him to the fullest extent within the confines of the law. I will be truthful about it. Because when I put my hand on that Bible and he's sitting over there on the defense table, when I say what I got to say, it's going to hit so hard, buddy, you won't even know when it's coming. And you're going to be laughing your little ass. You think this is funny. This is what this asshole doesn't realize. He thinks it's all a joke. That's why he calls himself eBay's a joke. He thinks everything in life is a joke. It is not a joke, friends. Okay? When you say something negative or derogatory against a business, a person, people have feelings, Mr. Fitch. Obviously, you're impervious to any of that stuff. You say you don't fucking care. Well, buddy, if you don't care, why are you so vestedly interested in everything we do if you don't care? You see, you double negative yourself every time. And again, friends, I'm to the point where I actually had a little bit of sympathy for Mr. Fitch. I don't want to see the scumbag go to, you know, get hurt physically. He's not worth killing. He says, well, somebody's going to put a gun to my head and kill me. If you're that paranoid, buddy, you have a Glock 26 in your house. What the hell are you afraid of? The only thing you should be afraid of is if 20 co cops come crashing down into your door, what are you going to do? How are you going to react to that? They've got probable cause, man, to put you away. We've got so much evidence, it's relevant to the case. To this day, friends, to this day, Mr. Fitch has not proved any of the allegations or accusations against me, Mr. DeMarco, Jason Kelly, Chris Kennedy, Stephanie Breon. He has not proved one bit of credible, shrewd proof that we've done anything to him. And yet he sits there on a, like a bump on a log and talks smack about it. He's all bark and no bite, like a dog. Give him a bone, throw a bone at him to shut him up. 
okay? And I say, I, like I said, friends, I don't, uh, no one is sponsoring me as far as eBay or PayPal is concerned, not Amazon, nor any of them. Even if they asked me to, I'd be like, no, I'm sorry. Until you guys get your act together, I'm sorry. But I would not go on any online website to purchase anything and give out my personal information to anyone, even if it was a secure website. I'm sorry. I, I would rather go to a brick-and-mortar store and shop and see people and, and, and interact with employees. I'm just old, old school fashion. What can I tell you? I, we didn't have these online businesses 30 years ago. And if we did, they never were really, they were really low key. Okay, only the big box stores had this kind of media attention because of the fact that they could afford to do this. All right? So, again, friends, what I say to you has been the truth, has always been the truth. The credibility that you deserve day in and day out for the past six years, I give it to you 100%. As well as Mr. DeMarco has been doing for the past eight years on his crazy New York Driver channel. And a shout out to him because I know he's listening. Thank you so much for your continued hard work. You deserve it. And you'll always have my support no matter how much we get into arguments and everything. But that's just the way it is sometimes. Okay? That's just the way it is. And he's even, he's even told me, he says, look, people could disagree with me. Be respectful about it. Okay? Mr. DeMarco don't hold grudges against people who disagree with him or think that he's crazy when, it com when he states uh, something out in the open. Okay? He pretty much gives you a piece of information gives you the research, shows you the websites to where he got the information, cites it with credible information every time. And I, 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 and where is he breaking the law? You tell me where the scumbag is breaking the law, asshole. Okay, you tell me where Mr. DeMarco is breaking the law. You have yet to even say that. You have yet to even put that on a video. You have not shown anything to anybody, Mr. Fitch, that has put his reputation on the line you sit there with baseless dumbass information because when you talk <laughs> it really sounds like you really sounds like you're being i don't know you you accuse me of being drunk mr fitch you accuse me of it why because i look like I, I i'm half asleep in front of the camera maybe i came off a long shift on the overnight you don't know the situation you think that every everybody who looks like me in that particular shot looks like a drunk person? Is that your idea of a drunk person? You got a hell of a nerve, buddy. Okay, I can tell you right now, I could put my hand on the Bible and raise my right hand and say, I do not in consume alcohol. And if it is, it's a tiny fraction of a bit because I have a driver's license and I sure as hell am not going to put my driver's license and my passengers on the line and get the, and endanger them. Okay. When you drive, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to drive in the United States. I'm honored. I've held that honor for 20 years, and I am not going to just have it suspended on account of drinking and abusing the system, okay? There are people out there who literally abuse the system, abuse their drinking, abuse the smoking, whatever the case may be, and they don't want to help themselves. <clears throat> Far from the cry of it. So, again, there's another lie from the insane clown posse, friends. And I exposed it right here on the Jason DeCanio Show. And remember, friends, Team Pause Episode 2, Sunday night, 7 to 9. <clears throat> it's going to be a very interesting show. One that may hit those bloggers out there who write on a continuous basis. You're going to be surprised what the penalties for writing bogus articles is all about, friends. There are people who've won major lawsuits, millions of dollars, <clears throat> because people who blog or people who write articles don't get the facts before they go out and write the story. They just write the story for the sake of it. <clears throat> a good blogger will write a story, get the, get the information from many sources, base it on the facts, <clears throat> And then write an unbiased opinion about it. 
not one-sided, not to his liking, but getting the information out there. That's what a blogger needs to do. And I would encourage Mr. DeMarco to blog as well. I think, <clears throat> I, think he, I think he'd be great as a blogger because he's blogging information where he gets it from. Regardless if it's talking about eBay or PayPal or anything for that matter, or hubcaps. <coughs> I think I think he'd be a great blogger. I really do. And I would love to have Scott Henshaw on this show. That would piss Mr. Fitch off big time. Why? Because I would make sure that Mr. Henshaw gets a full three hours and I would give him the most toughest questions to answer. But I wouldn't point fingers, and I sure as heck would not defame him right on the show, as Mr. Fitch has done, or is choosing to do in this case. So, friends, again, what have we learned here? We've learned that when you're truthful, when your credibility is high, and you have done your work, your research, to get the message out there, you have succeeded. And you will become an expert on it. And I know for a fact that Mr. DeMarco is truly an expert on everything that he has accomplished over 30 years. God bless you, Mr. DeMarco. Thank you so much for all you do.